Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you face tapping for glowing skin. We're going to be tapping along the neck and also the facial area and then finish off with the all important lymphatic drainage massage release so we can release the toxins and also the waste we've moved within the area. So I do like to sit down with my feet firmly on the ground and shoulders nice and relaxed. As you can see, I have no product on my skin whatsoever, so clean face and also clean fingers. Now, I'm going to use a form of slip, as in rosehip oil, but if you have your own facial cream or oil, that's fine too. We just want something which is going to kind of, kind of glide without, and when we tap, it's not going to be stretching or compromising the skin. So I've just got my, I've just got some avocado oil here. So I'm just going to place just a little bit onto the fingers here. We don't need very much. And just gently, first of all, just apply it onto the face, the neck area, and also behind the ears and the ears. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to start on the neck and we're going to work our way up. So first I'm going to start just here where our chin is under the collarbone, a couple of points here. And we're just gently going to tap. These are all going to be also lymphatic drainage points as well. So just gently tapping. And then you can work your way outwards, almost as if you're heading towards your armpit. Now you can do these tapping exercises once or twice a day. Obviously, it depends how long you have to, how long you want to take on it. Then I'm going to take my fingers and just gently start to tap in an upwards motion towards the jaw, from the collarbone to the jawline, if you like. When you're right in the middle, just be very, very gentle. Now, if you do have long nails, you can always use your knuckles, but again, just be mindful not to um, be too heavy handed. And then we're just gently tapping now, just along this very large muscle, this neck muscle here, and we're tapping in an upwards motion at the moment towards the ears. And then with the back of the fingers, just gently tap away, just under the jawline, we have a lot of lymph nodes here, so it's actually quite a good one to help get everything going. Particularly toxins and waste, which we will actually, we'll say, reduce later. Now, with tapping, we're also adding blood circulation to the skin. So this is great. You may find you may want to be a little bit, may go a little bit red, but that's fine. I'm just tapping at this point here, just in the middle of your lips and just below. Just give this a few taps. You may find you may start feeling a little bit sleepy as well, because we're actually activating certain points on the face, acupressure points as well. So now I'm just tapping all the way along, all along the jawline. Again, I like to sort of work in an outwards and upwards motion. You actually want to lift up rather than drag down. Now I'm going to just start to just tap just literally the nostrils here and then under the cheekbone. So I'm just moving all the way along. And then just very lightly between the eyes, you may want to close your eyes at this point, just a few taps here. And they just tap down the side of the nose to the nostrils and we do this a couple of times. Now if you do have sinus issues or maybe hay fever or even if you're a bit stuffy you may find just doing this gentle tapping motion down by down to the nostrils will actually help release and relieve. And then again I like to just gently tap once I've gone from the top to the bottom here to the nostrils, I do like to tap again under the cheekbone. So now we're coming to the eye area. Now the skin around the eyes is extremely delicate and fine, one of the finest on the, on the body. So I'm using my ring finger and I'm just very gently 
just tapping as you can see just on the bone you don't want to be going right in so just gently tapping on the bone and just to the side of the eyes almost to the temples again working outwards and upwards and then just do a couple of gentle taps just where the where your eye is where your pupil is and under and just give those a few gentle taps and then back out again so now we're just going to come almost to the th third eye if you like and we're just gently tapping and then we're moving in an outwards motion above the eyebrows to the temples I do find this really relaxing it's quite a nice one to do in the evening because it really sort of sets you up for the day well sorry for the evening <laughs> make you sort of quite sleepy then I'm working across and then in an upwards motion literally from the eyebrows to the hairline this is great for fine lines and wrinkles as well particularly on the forehead you may want to swallow at this point you may find things starting to sort of shift along now I'm tapping at a light motion, light to medium, as I said before, I'm not going in too heavy handed. And then with my fingers, I'm just going to just very lightly just glide down the side, well, down to the side of the temples here from the middle of the forehead. I'm now moving lymph, toxins and waste within the lymph. And this will actually also help for glowing skin. And then again, let's start just under the eyes. Just very lightly, just gliding, feather-like touch. And then with the fingers, we're just heading down again towards the nose and under the cheekbone and up. Now, your, your touch has to be quite light. The lymph is very close to the surface of the skin, so we don't need to be really heavy-handed light touch and then points here you do have a very good point here as well so you may want to just tap just above the lip always forget one so we'll quickly do this add this too and then just again lightly massage out and then just tap along the lips, help plump the lips here and go the other way. And then the thumb under the jawline, the fingers above, again, just moving lymph and waist within the lymph. And then again, up within, with, in an upwards motion with the neck. And then we're going to just take our fingers here and just gently massage the side of the ears and then down to the side to the bottom of the ears to the top of the ears and then back down again and then once you reach the bottom of the ear just work towards the nape of the neck and then when the fingers are touching, just gently glide down the side of the neck, down to the collarbone. And then once we've done that, from our chin all the way down, either side of the collarbone and just above, we have some indentations. And you just want to give those a few gentle presses. This will release all the toxins in the waist. We've moved from the tapping and from moving the lymph lightly with our fingers. Now I do have other videos, if you'd like to look at those, on lymphatic drainage massage release and also face yoga exercises and facial massage including playlists so I'll put something up on the screen for that and obviously if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and for more hints and tips please subscribe I look forward to seeing you in the next one okay bye